Hello, hello, and welcome once again, J76NY here, and we are up to episode number 30 of our 1864 campaign on Grand Tactician the Civil War. Uh, Pickett and Ransom just successfully defended the Winchester area, uh, and for my complaints about Pickett retreating after his victory, it actually benefited us, so uh, I'll shut up about that and uh, go from there. Um, what I'm expecting now is... Um, hopefully some type of action to break up this mess here. Um, we've also got this to deal with. I've given orders to move, um, the Corps of Pendleton and our, uh, Florida, District of Florida forces up on this Union force right here, the Second Corps. Uh, we're going to be a little bit outnumbered, but... Uh, we have to get them away from these forts. We've also got uh, 18th Corps here. 16,000, so... Hmm. Perhaps a change of plans would be in order to get these guys out of uh, South Carolina. Hmm. I guess we could always bring uh, Stuart down to assist, but that would be uh, pulling him off of this, like they're moving in. Well, that's actually what I'm going to do is uh, give them the halt order. And then the district order, we're going to give you a halt order as well. It'll take a while for that to get there. Maybe not. And then we're going to move them in up here towards Columbia. Once that takes effect. Uh, Picket and Ransom, depending on what this guy decides to do, may be in a position to start moving in on uh, Frederick, Maryland. I just think it might be a little better, better chance to uh, cause some problems up in the Washington area in the long run if we come in from this side. Uh, but that does leave this area open down here. Um, got a Union Supply Depot here. And I don't really want to pull my forces from down here. Now uh, we got Ambrose Hill attacking uh, Fort Jackson again. Because they've got 6,500, 4,400. Uh, it might not be a bit to make here. He's got 9,000. Get long street up here. Uh, 43 minutes. Uh, you will. Have you will move up. Now quickly, uh, policies, right now we're uh, researching bounties too, that's 43 days, that's a lot longer than what it was, but that's what we're researching here, projects, um, I'm going to go with counter propaganda, I was looking at this uh, before I started recording, uh, and it's going to decrease the support for the enemy's cause, so I'm going to... Uh, work on that. And then I guess we could do something with Austrian rifles. So our diplomacy is... French weapons, we can't do anything with that right now. 
uh, legacy rifles, statistics reform. Got medium range carbines too. We'll go with the Austrian rifles. Then uh, hit the play and see how things go from here. Uh, July 20th, 1864, the date. There's something. Veteran armies unstoppable. Yankees forced to ski at Another morale intact. We're happy. All right, John Pemberton facing off against uh, Rand Siegel right here. So let's see what this is all. Middle of Danville, Virginia. Confederacy fields any 648 men under Pemberton. And the Union has 1,000 men. Okay, we're on the attack at Danville. Uh, we have to come down uh, to Ryan's Mill up here. I'm going to... Damn. Well, there's some pontoons here. I'm going to bring them down here, and then we can have more ways to cross. We'll just get them uh, set up right here. What are we looking at here? six o'clock at night so we can get a bunch of our guys across the river we can bring them down here uh, kind of come in from this direction like this all right so let's start the clock uh, we don't have any cavalry to speak of so Everyone moving here. Gonna have to come through a swamp. It's no good. Get them so they... There they go. Not gonna let me come across that bridge. Fields Division, let's get you like that. We're moving in. All right, so they're uh, deployed a little more further forward than what I was expecting. Uh, right along the uh, edge of the swamp here, which we're coming through. Uh, I've given orders for the artillery reserve to pause. I'm going to place them right here on this side of the bank. Uh, hopefully they have the... Uh, line of sight to be able to no they might not because they're behind trees hmm. well, that could be a problem uh, but already on the other side of the bank we've got a garrison okay we've got Kershaw's brigade and Cox's brigade uh, our other brigades coming or our other division here is coming down this way so uh, looks like they're uh, dug in and ready for us. We're going to be starting the battle a little sooner than what I was expecting. Now let's actually... I'm going to pause this here. Keep 
you advance right there. They're going to go up and then come back, and the whole time they're going to be under fire. Give this order here, have them halt. Turn to face. If they got the order to halt or not, they did. All right, so let's get our artillery reserve. Actually, going to bring them right up. Right up here. Take this. Give them counter battery fire orders when we can. Meanwhile, over here we've got Jenkins going to be first. The halt order real quick. Where they're going to try and run right through them. First brigade with 2200. Second brigade with 2200. And they're dug in. And they're on the high ground. I think it's going to come down to what we can do over here if we can push them out. All right. If you start moving in on their right. Not really too thrilled about the uh, situation here. I don't think there's a need to uh, have them go long range just because of the way they are uh, where they are. Okay, let's get our artillery. I don't think they're going to have moved up over here. They're not going to have any line of sight over there, so. Guy is doing his own thing, I guess. Get the halt order. Casualties are mounting something fierce. Cohesion's failing. Get Huger. Get you right out into the open. Brigade hasn't suffered any casualties. Either a second brigade. Guns have. Double time. That order at the uh, divisional level.
counter battery fire. Taking a lot of casualties. Four point six percent. Wow, they've taken ten casualties so far. Get in there. way up there. If you fall back for now. line of sight on them. Let's have them fire on this unit here. That's going the wrong way. 11%. Oh, hey. Didn't even notice this up in the air that they should be coming into position to start firing on first, uh, first brigade here start firing. guys need to hurry up. Casualties are mounting over here.
Alright, they're starting to take casualties, but we're getting just crushed here. Look at his losses. He's gonna end up going. Oh, we're gonna lose this. Should have just waited to uh, redeploy. They go run into uh, day two here, and we can uh, redeploy from here. Twenty casualties. One hundred and fifty casualties over here. And okay, now we got everyone firing on this cab here. Guns have no line of sight whatsoever. We're up to 25% casualties. This is gonna... He's pulling back. Have you focus all of your fire on him? These guns are coming up. You guys are still on this side of the river. Oh, come on, really? This isn't working. This is not working. Right, he pulled back out of range. Just out of range. Okay, he broke. Cav is running out of ammo. For all the good it's going to do us. Thirty-two percent. Eight thirty, so Right there. Get right there. Major defeat now.
He's routing. Okay, let's get out of here. back this was a disaster for those casualties Humberton's losing half his core chasing us with artillery. Yeah, Pemberton lost half his core. Major defeat. Wow, that wasn't ex that wasn't expected. Really wasn't expected them to be dug in right in my face like that. Yes. Let's see what the uh, national morale boost for them is. National morale drops 0.95%. Wow. Wow. Oh, that says it all right there. Disaster at Danville. Uh, wow. Definitely don't like that. Look here, 45%. We're down to 62 81,000. And it says we have uh, 25,000. 20, that's either 25,000 or 2,500. I believe it's 2,500. It also says we have 260,000 drafts. I don't think we can really do anything with. I'm going to put Pickett under uh, Beauregard here. Move him there. So he's under Beauregard now. Something I did want to take a look at here. We can add another unit. But we can't select a state for recruitment. We've got a ton of in drafts. I wonder if I could I can't.
Yeah. The only volunteers I can pull from. It must be the force I have in play. All right, anyway, that was a very, very bad situation. Um, not going to lie. Had completely caught me off guard. Uh, so Pemberton here. And I got a perk. Uh, let's give you... Give you Ambulance Corps. Maybe that'll help us get our force back up a little bit. Oh, that was not cool. I guess we could attack them with, uh, with our cavalry here. I have other plans for him, though. I don't know what I want to do with him. Send him down south, or... Because if we have him join up with... Yeah, I'm going to send him down. Move to Charlotte. Then once we're in a better position to do something about uh, this up here, these uh, two units here, we can move them down further. Hopefully you can come in and support, and then together come in on uh, second core over here. That's going to be for a future episode. If you like this one, not sure why you would, but it'll help the series out. Hit the like button. Any tips or advice, leave those in the comment section below. Uh, if you want to follow along through our campaign, hit the subscribe, and we will see you for the next episode. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day.